Cisco ACI multi-site and multi-pass solutions can interconnect multiple Cisco ACI fabrics that can be geographically apart. In combining F5 Big IP DNS and LTM solutions, we can best utilize the network infrastructure to improve application performance and provide application resiliency across data centers. There are options to integrate F5 Big IP DNS and LTM into Cisco ACI multi-site and multi-pod. In this two parts of video, we will give you a quick overview of the common Big IP design options in Cisco ACI multi-site and multi-pod. Before we look at each design option, we would like to highlight Big IP DNS deployment option first. It is very typical to deploy standalone Big IP DNS behind Layer 3 l in ACI multi-site or multi-pod, which you can see from each design option here. A standalone Big IP DNS is a Big IP with only DNS module deployed on an individual Big IP. And Big IP DNS is typically deployed as a shared resource among multiple tenants whereas Big IP LTM is typically deployed for a single tenant. As shown in this deployment example, standalone Big IP DNS are deployed behind Layer 3 L, which communicate with Big IP LTM using iQuery via Layer 3 L for information exchange. And in this deployment example, all the Big IP DNS are in the same synchronization group which they work together to monitor the availability and performance of global resources, such as data centers, VIPs, etc., and use that information to manage network traffic patterns. Let us now give you a quick overview of each of the common F5 Big IP design options in Cisco ACI multi-site and multi-pod. First, is ACI Fabric as default gateway with SNAT? In this design option, ACI Fabric is the default gateway of the real servers, and SNAT is used on the Big IP LTM to ensure both directions of traffic go through the same Big IP LTM in the same data center. Some highlights of this design option include, SNAT is used on the Big IP LTM. VIP and its real servers can be deployed in different data centers. PBR is not required since SNAT is used to ensure both incoming and returning traffic are through the same Big IP LTM. This design can be deployed with or without a service graph. The next design option is ACI Fabric as default gateway with PBR. In this design option, ACI Fabric is the default gateway of the real servers and instead of using SNAT on Big IP LTM, we use ACI PPR to steer the return traffic back to the same Big IP LTM in the same data center. Here are some highlights of this design option. SNAT is not used on the Big IP LTM. Instead, PBR is used to steer the return traffic to the same Big IP LTM that handles the incoming traffic. VIP and its real servers must be deployed in the same data center. Service graph is mandatory. Location-based PBR needs to be enabled in a case of ACI multipod. To find out more information on the Big IP design options, including the detailed traffic flows, design recommendations, etc., please refer to Cisco ACI multi-site multipod and F5 Big IP design guide a white paper Johnny developed by Cisco and F5. We will continue with the next two design options in the part two of this video. See you there and thank you for watching.